Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. And today, wait, what's going on here? Got some red slivers going on? Oh no, we're playing some gruel slivers today. Built this deck like a month ago or so, and I uh, haven't been able to play with it yet. Um, well, we've got some stuff we can do with this hand. We don't got red mana, which is unfortunate, but we can cycle away some stuff and play our Viverland with some mutagen or growth going, so we'll keep it. We're playing with some interesting cards here from the red side of Slivers. Pretty much all the same from green that you know, Viverland, the Muscle, the Predatory, all that good stuff. Uh, but from red, we've got some interesting things. we got a two-head Sliver here, everything gets Menace. And we're playing with some Mutagenic Growths. This is all about just turning those creatures sideways, hitting fast and strong, and burning your opponent out. We're playing with some uh, Lightning Bolts and stuff like that. I'll go over the deck list at the end. I just wanted to be a surprise if you didn't really look at the video title or whatever, but <laughs> I'm sure everybody did. <laughs> but we got some haste creatures in here. Uh, first strike creatures in red. And uh, they gain one life, so we got an extra turn here to get cranking on some stuff. Oh, we get our thing so that's nice actually all right cool well let's get our creatures out while we can creatures have menace swing in here we'll hang on to our mutagenic growth now we'll just start setting up her board a little bit Jukabog. All right. So they had an awkward hand. All right, they're going to dead weight that. Well, I'm going to let that happen. I didn't have to let it happen, but I'm okay with it. Look at that. We got one anyways. Uh, so I'm actually going to cycle this now. See if we can get a Lord or something. Now we get Blade Black, uh, Blade Back, which is Hellbent. If you don't have any cards in your hand, you can tap your creatures, deal one damage to the target player. So pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll play him out. He's a big body. And we can protect him with Mutagenic. I'll swing in for one again here. some cards. They need their land drops, I guess. Still setting up their mana. This will give us an extra turn to get nice and set up here. Alright, what can we draw? Alright, a predatory. Nice. I can dig that. Now we've got a decent board. That's what I was waiting for. Gotta have them lords. And I'd rather protect my lord with this mutagenic growth over that Viverland, which is another reason why I'm fine with letting that first one die. Well, let's see what they do now. I got three mana available. This could be uh, mono black control with a splash of white. So not mono black, but you know, basically mono black. Uh, but maybe not though. If they're playing with this many splashes, maybe maybe it's not. Show me a creature or something. Nothing? Alright, cool. Alright, now we'll get some Provoke going. Which means we can tell them what creatures we want them to block with. 
Swing away, Meryl. Swing away. So we got a Mutagenic Growth and a Vines ready for backup, which is pretty nice. Hit him for nine. Let's see what they're going to play. Exile target creature, how about no? And I think we'll be going to game two here. Four life and we got this mutagenic growth, so even if they take care of our lord, it's all but over. Deals two damage to each creature and each player. Wow. So let me see. Two damage, huh? So this is the only one that's gonna... Wow, I just need to protect my lord. Alright. Yep, we protect our lord. I think we'll be okay. If that survives, then everything should survive. Well, these two will survive. There we go. And game two. Alright, so now that we know a little bit of what we're dealing with. Uh, an extra vines isn't bad. I like the mutagenic growths, they're just pretty versatile. Uh, maybe another chain for the heck of it. Blade Black's a little slow. I think Hunter's Sliver can go if they're not playing with that many creatures. So maybe a two-headed Sliver as well. And... Another two-headed Sliver. We'll just drop a couple of those. We'll bring in an extra burn. Just go straight for the face. Electric doesn't look as good. So let's take that out. And we could bring in another vines. We'll just play with the full place of mutagenic and vines, get extra protection. Sure, why not? <clears throat> so it's Aureus control, is that what we're doing here? Uh decent hand. Decent hand. I uh, can dig it. Two Lords of Riverland will keep. Starting with the Bajuka Bog. You gonna let me draw my card? All right, another Predatory, which is excellent. Now we just need to draw some protection for these things. I'll take mutagenics over the vines for right now, just because they'll be playing with those negative two, negative twos. And those are just easier to get out of range of with the mutagenics. I'll take an untapped land too. That'd be nice. Bro, you gotta let me take my draw step here. Thank you. All right, but we don't get it. So I guess we'll go Teetering Peaks, put that on there, give him a little plus. Swing in. Hit him for three. Give him a Poisonous Tap. We'll cycle away this Tranquil Thicket. We'll be on our way. Of course, we take out these Hunter Slivers, we take out two of them, we draw into both of them, so kind of a dead card for this deck right now. Tap your mana. If they go for removal right now before they bring back a land, then I'll Tranquil Thicket in hopes that we find, you know, mutagenic growth, but looks like they're just going to be passing it back. So let's cycle. 
I'll take it. The more the merrier here. Ooh, first strike. Not super necessary at this point right now either. I would love to get the haste creature, just uh, really power through some damage right now. So they definitely have some removal here. So we're going to be losing lords and just lose a lord, play a lord, lose a lord, play a lord for a few turns. Until we draw into some protection that will get us past it. Protection from mono color. Okay. Wow. It's too bad we can't pump and get rid of this thing right now. But we can get out of range a bit. So I can block one and be perfectly fine. Got a gut shot. Finish this thing off. No? Alright. We're out of range of disfigure, which is good. Gain your life. I don't care. We're gonna have you on a two turn clock by next turn if you don't take out one of my creatures here, so. What do you got? Sacrifice a creature. Okay. We'll get rid of our Viverlent. journey. Ugh. Gnarly. Okay. You got it, buddy. Hmm. We'll just keep playing out our lords. We'll attack in just to see if they forget to block, as always. Can't always count on them to click the correct way, so. I mean, that's how we won against Tron Fog on Wednesday, so. They missed their chance to take over the game, and uh, we got the win. If I can just get another forest, that'd be great. Really start pushing through some stuff here. All right, we're gonna draw some cards and lose two life. Kind of dangerous. Play a swamp. Bye bye, striking sliver. You gonna do the same thing here? Journey me again? Alright, well, they can flash us back. Uh, are they close to flashing? Uh, not quite there. Teetering peaks, okay. So I think we're going to play Provoke here, and then we'll play Teetering. We'll put it on uh, our Muscle, and we'll make him block the Predatory so we can get in for the extra two damage. Why doesn't Provoke work right now? So confused. I should be able to force them to block a creature, right? How come that didn't work? Uh, no. Did I 
definitely not. We will not be allowed to do that. Okay, maybe I'm not sure how the provoke works yet. <laughs> Last thing, game I played with this, they were forcing me to block certain creatures. Is that not how it works? Maybe it's not. Uh, there's a pay one, deal one damage to each creature. Ooh, yuck. That's gnarly. Okay, our days are numbered with this. Holy cow. Turn a land. Our days are numbered. That's going to wipe us out right quick. We got to kill them fast. Okay, well, chain lightning's pretty nice for that. They're just going to take it. I'm going to reduce my creatures a little bit so you can take this guy out. You can hit him for two, right? Ping, ping. Take this one out. I'm still going to hit you for a lot. Okay, well, that's just how it's going to be then. Boom. Chain lightning. Can you pay for it? I don't think so. Good game. That's some gruel slivers for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you want me to play more of the cruel slivers deck... I would love to. I think uh, it'll be a lot of fun to keep playing. Uh, let me bring it to the sideboard here so you guys can kind of see what we have going on. This is what we're playing with. We got uh, Electricery in here, two Chain Lightnings, full set of Lightning Bolt. Uh, Striking Slivers made the appearance today. Blade, Bla Blade Back did as well. Uh, pretty cool card. Heart Sliver we did not see would have been nice. Give all creatures haste. Hunter Sliver, still don't know how that Provoke thing works, but I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Full play set of them. Two out of Sliver, give everything Menace. We got the Mutagenic Growths, the Vines of Asswood, two of each. Uh, as you saw, we've sided in full places of those on Game 2. Worked out pretty well. Uh, I like the Mutagenic Growth, so I'm happy to be pumping my creatures. I'm a, I'm a pump and dump type of guy, so don't quote me on that. Uh, Viverlent Sliver, as usual, Muscle and Predatory Sliver. We've got the Six Forest, Six Mountain, Rugged Highlands, two Teetering Peaks. I don't know if I should go more on these. I don't think I, I should, just because it's a tap land and we got one Cycler uh, to get things going. Sideboard over here, we've got a couple Gut Shots, as you saw, the Chain Lightnings, a couple of Electricery, uh, Spinnerets in the sideboard, just for matchups we needed. I didn't see a, a use for it right now. We could, like, reduce a number of maybe two at a sliver and put these in potentially but I think I like where it's at right now but if you guys have any suggestions for the deck let me know uh, we've got Relic of Regenitus over here too but yeah if you know of any other cards that'd be good in this deck or think it's a little bit off uh, leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know what you think but until next time guys we will see you in the next video